Hello, welcome to Intro's technical series for understanding bulk solids handling products part 2. Today we will be talking about rotary valves and the importance of rotary valves in bulk solids handling. So the rotary valve that we have with us today is a device that is installed typically at the bottom of hoppers or silos that does the purpose of dispensing bulk solids from it, from uh, any of the storage device to anything that is connected to the bottom. It can be another storage device or it can be a pneumatic conveying line also. It consists of a casted body housing and a multi-vane rotor on the inside that rotates and ensures that the product is transferred through pockets from the device to the outlet. It is driven through either a direct drive arrangement with a motor and a gearbox coupled to the shaft or through a chain drive arrangement which is completely enclosed within a 360 degree guard and this is the uh, mounting bracket for holding the gearbox and the motor. <coughs> the valve majorly comes in two types, a fall through type and a blow through type. The blow through is typically used for powders that are very cohesive in nature, they don't flow very well so it's ideal for pushing these through a blow through type and fall through is uh, versatile, it can be used for any application. The precision machined components ensure that the clearance between the rotor and the casing is maintained between 0.15 mm to 0.2 mm which ensures there is minimal leakage through the rotary valve in a pneumatic conveying application where you either have under vacuum on the top or over pressure at the bottom and the leakage that happens through the valve is minimized due to these uh, small clearances in the valve. The device can either be configured with inboard bearings or outboard bearings. What you see next to me is a device with outboard bearings. With outboard bearings, we can ensure that the seal that is created between the uh, dust and material side of the valve and the bearing are completely separated through a very robust sealing mechanism in the middle. There is a rotary wall venting provision which can be connected to a vent to vent out the leakage gas that comes from an overpressure uh, system that it's connected to. The purging also comes in two configurations. One is the shaft purging that I just spoke of that creates the air pressure seal between the sealing mechanisms themselves and also the rotor end plate purge which essentially creates a seal between the closed end rotor and the body of the rotary valve. The valve comes in various sizes ranging from 100 NB to 500 NB. Due to the robust construction of this valve, it can also be used in hazardous applications where we either have flammable gases or explosive dusts. And the valve is used in various applications such as food, chemicals, plastic, pharmaceutical, etc. Another important feature that we have for the food and pharmaceutical industry is our rotary valve with easy and quick clean design. This device comes with guide rails and an easy to open knob. So the knobs are opened and the rotor can be pulled out and cleaned and the guide rails slide over the guides for easy opening. I will now demonstrate how we can easily open this valve and clean it. The rotor can easily be pulled out this way and swiveled around. You can use a dry cloth or a wet cloth for cleaning the inside of the rotors. Once done, you may simply swivel the rotor back, check the alignment of the rotor, and simply slide it back in. As easy as that. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching.